Hello, and welcome. It is Saturday, November 28, 2020, and this is Truly News. As we begin this new day, let's start by increasing your knowledge and expanding your insights with a review of today's news. As always, we begin with a look at the top stories from around the country. And, here are the stories that are leading the news today. Trump continues to lose. Cities impose new COVID restrictions. Cyber Weekend arrives. As the country moves on from the election, Trump continues to focus on failing legal challenges. On Friday a court rejected his attempt to overturn the Pennsylvania results, and a recount was completed in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin recount, requested by Trump, added more votes for Biden. With all ballots delivered and counted, the Trump administration has decided to appeal a September ruling against the post office. The ruling required the USPS to take measures to ensure delivery of ballots. It is unclear why that ruling would be appealed now. In the continued battle against COVID, Los Angeles has imposed new restrictions. The largest city, in one of the most affected states, announced that it will prohibit gatherings larger than households. The order begins on Monday, and it will affect over 20 million people. Religious gatherings have been exempted from the order. On the East Coast New York continues to maintain restrictions. Santikin, a popular Santa-themed pub crawl in Manhattan, has officially been cancelled. In other news, some stores may be closed. Some communities may have restrictions on in-person shopping. However, that will not stop one of the greatest shopping weekends of the year. Black Friday officially kicked off Cyber Weekend, with many online sales to attract customers looking for an alternative way to do their holiday shopping this year. And that's your top news today. Now, in our look beyond the main headlines, let's begin with the latest advances in science, technology, and space exploration. In science news. New research shows how ancient American cultures survived. Research published in the journal Scientific Reports by scientists from the University of South Florida reveals how ancient civilizations in New Mexico survived the cold winters. Geologists found 10,000-year-old evidence of the Puebloan society, which is known for its unique architecture and sophisticated social structure. Individuals survived winters by building fires in the caves and drinking ice melt. In technology news, Britain works to reduce Google and Facebook's dominance. Britain is moving forward with efforts to reduce the dominance of Google and Facebook and promote more tech company competition. Presently Google and Facebook have a combined 80% of the digital advertising market in Britain, and a new law aims to help smaller companies get a bigger share. The tech giants will now have to be more transparent about the way that they use consumer data to market. In space news. Japanese spacecraft returning to Earth with asteroid samples. An unmanned Japanese spacecraft is returning to Earth after a year-long mission where it took samples from an asteroid. The samples will give scientists more insight into the composition of the solar system during its birth 4.5 billion years ago. The spacecraft will reach Earth on December 6, and it will release a capsule with the samples. The capsule is expected to land in southern Australia. And that is your science, technology, and space news for today. Now we look at the latest in health, social, and environmental news. In health news. Social experiment in Germany helps combat COVID at mass gatherings. In an experiment to better understand the spread of COVID at public events, researchers from three universities in Germany held a concert for 1,200 people to carefully track any potential spread of COVID. One of the most important findings was that good ventilation and individual hygiene greatly reduced exposure. Crowd management and spacing were also important factors to minimizing spread. In social news, planning and distancing is the key to holiday outings. As the holidays approach, researchers highlight the need for better planned social interactions. Scientists from Karlstad University in Sweden have been analyzing places like stores, restaurants and gyms to understand how to protect against COVID spread. The group urges stores to do more virtual promotions and sales, and it encourages individuals to plan their outings to ensure social distancing. In environmental news, Trump rolls back more environmental protections during final days in office. On Friday, the outgoing president rolled back another long-standing environmental protection by redefining a 50-year-old statute that protects migratory birds. The changes to the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, which has been in place since the early 1970s, will make it harder to protect certain species and easier for businesses to be protected from legal consequences if their actions lead to the deaths of birds. And that is your health, social, and environmental news for today. Now, it is time for our look at economic and world news. In economic news, person income decreases slightly in October as personal spending inches upward. This week the Commerce Department released its monthly report on personal income. According to the release, personal income fell by less than 1% in October, after rising by the same amount in September. 
The report also said personal spending rose in October. Personal spending increases over time as the population and the economy grows, but increases in personal spending have been shrinking since May. In world news, India officially enters into an economic recession. After six months of economic declines, India is now in a recession. Asia's third largest economy shrunk in the second and third quarters as the country's gross domestic product continued to decline. The GDP is the total of all goods and services produced within an economy during a certain period of time. COVID is the likely cause, since the country had to implement significant restrictions during the first quarter. And that is your economic and world news for today. To wrap things up, we take a look at your entertainment options with newly released movies, shows, and books. The newly released movies, today's movie is The Christmas Chronicles 2. Teenager Kay Pierce is reunited with Santa Claus when a troublemaker threatens to cancel Christmas forever. The Christmas Chronicles 2 is now showing on Netflix. The newly released shows, today's show is City So Real. A documentary look into Chicago, set against the backdrop of its history-making 2019 mayoral election. Episodes of City So Real are now showing on Hulu. Finally, in entertainment news, our newly published book is Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. The fourth book in the Stormlight Archive series. Technological discoveries in an ensuing arms race change how a war is fought. This book is presently number one on the New York Times fiction bestseller list. And that is your entertainment news for today. As always, we end our podcast with hope for humanity stories about the goodness and kindness that people show each other every day. And here is today's story. From Lawton, Oklahoma. A 16-year-old has been helping people since he was seven. On his seventh birthday, Ben Roberts, whose birthday is in November, asked to forego presents and instead do a food drive for people in his community. He simply wanted to help people who were in need on Thanksgiving. Since that time, Ben has spent the last nine years turning that event into an annual tradition. Every year he now goes to people's houses and collects food for a Thanksgiving food drive. It is something that he looks forward to doing and a gift that many people look forward to receiving. And that is your news for November 28, 2020. Have a wonderful day.